Now to our Two America series where we learn about the country we know and maybe the one we don't. Tonight, we're taking a deeper look into addiction and recovery. I spoke with the recovery director at Victory Outreach Tucson to find out why he's now dedicating his life to helping others. I was looked at top 50 players in the state. I had a 3.8 GPA. I, everybody knew that I was going to do something with my life. It sounds like a picture perfect life. You come to a place and everything you've been working for isn't exactly what you feel like it, it was going to be. But for Andrina Garcia, his world was far from perfect. I used to party on the weekends and it just slowly rolled into Monday and slowly rolled into Tuesday until I got tired. And then, but once I started doing pills, you need them. You know, you become dependent on them. Money started running dry and, and you go to the next cheapest thing, which was heroin. Garcia was in and out of rehab programs. Kind of just go there to get sober, not really understanding that I needed a change on the inside. Until he went to Victory Outreach Tucson. When I came in the home, I really felt loved. I really felt accepted. I had another person that was just like me with his family, and I saw what they had and I wanted what they had. Now, Garcia is the recovery home director at Victory Outreach. You know, my whole life, I was looking for my purpose in life, and I felt like that was my purpose. And he's leading by example. My kids, my wife, we all intertwine with the home, and we show them and be able to model to them what a home serving God looks like. But every day he's reminded of his journey to sobriety. This is actually my neighborhood. As a matter of fact, I used to get high next door. Which only keeps him on the right track. That's where the passion comes from, because I know what it's like to be out there, and I know what it's like to be in here. Proving that there's always time to turn your life around. I never thought I could be a good father. I never thought I could be a good husband. I never thought I could be a blessing to somebody who was in need because I was a selfish person. So to have a second chance is priceless. And become the person you were always meant to be. <sighs> Man, words really don't describe it, you know, honestly. The things that I'm able to obtain now or that I'm being now, I never thought I could be. Great to see him make the most of that second chance. Yeah, and to see his whole family live there yes. now and, and show them what it's like to, to recover and have a good life mm -hmm. is awesome. Yeah, good for them. All right, let's turn to Brian Brennan. Now in for Kyler Diggs. That's right, Brian. It was a nice day and a little 